they need to start just giving match losses. Once your game queues, that's it. You get a fucking match loss if you leave. That's important. So I'll probably get mostly Protoss players and random players, I would guess. Because random wants to play against Terran generally, I think. Not enough minerals. 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 No, there will never be a balanced patch made for three war. People asking, there just won't be. The game is perfect as it is. Maps do all the balancing work that you need in Brood War. There's this, the skill cap is so unfucking fathomably high that you can actually just always win good to go, sir. if you get good enough. I swear to God, Blizzard will never patch you guys. You don't even need to discuss. The game doesn't need a patch. It really actually doesn't. As someone who actually understands what's going on, trust me on this. It'll never happen. Hey, Jack. Six months. Thank you, my nerd. Right now my thought process is right like uh i will i will make probably three vultures to lay down mines in case he tries any move outs so that'll kind of give me some vision and stuff uh and my barracks is to check for wraiths i kind of need to be ready if he's going wraiths or if he's going mass vulture both of them i'll probably counter pretty much the same way yeah i'm going 
Get enough sir. minerals. Right away, sir. Report for duty. What are you on? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I reach you, sir. Target. Yes, 
guy in the chat. I guess one of the main things is I'm wondering about the tanks that got hit by the mine over here, because that kind of stifled my progress early. Because I saw where the mines were, so I was confused when I got Because I thought I set them in such a place that they should sit there and just kind of hold that position, not let any mines go further, so I could rally more units up to them. So he went... This guy was random, let's not forget. Random CC first. <laughs> setups they were pretty good you're not going to scan right here probably you're probably going to scan like here i think this is outside of the range and then some on the high ground just to watch if he's trying to be sneaky that's mostly to spot the vultures okay so we're going to five fact play pretty normal um okay let's see so he's got 11 on minerals, 3 on gas. Twelve, fourteen 14 on minerals, 3 on gas. 3 building. Okay, so I actually have more SCVs than him at this point. Uh, that's not completely 100% uncommon. Like, I think his SCV production might have been slightly off, but if you're trying to get five packs really quick, um, then that stuff like that can happen. You can cut some SCVs to make additional factories because TVT, like, if I'm trying to go vultures, and the thing is, I think he's already seen a few of my vultures, right? I, th I only made three, though, specifically three just for mines just to make sure he didn't do anything cheeky with, like, a tank early on, right? Uh, force him to get scanned, or at least move out very carefully. Uh, but, anyways, if you if you kind of turtle up, you can defend against 5-fact Volt. Uh, you know, like, you notice I built these so they can't run around so easy. I made an eBay and lifted it up and down. Um, but yeah, so my SCV count is actually already higher here, so that's like really nice. Obviously, he has like a lot of vultures making and stuff, so maybe he has a bit more army, but not like he can break this. So yeah, he takes he takes the map control pretty much. Oh wait, I missed I missed this part. Okay, let's see it. Okay, here's my move out. Oh. See, I saw them lay the mines here, because it was near my mines. I didn't realize they laid two mines here and then there, so that's that's what confused me there. I should have pulled these units back immediately, though, when I saw that they were injured. But I was like, eh, I'll just siege them up. And they should have also been sieged under the, under the trees, so that was... I'm not going to... 
kill myself over that, but... See, so here's the thing, right? These are damaged. I want to control this area. But I'm also afraid of the backstab. So I, this is where I kind of screwed up in the early game, and this could have been much more one-sided. Um, so there was two different things that I could have done, because this is the ultimate bad thing to do, is to leave these here and send these home. Uh, I could have either brought these home to repair, or finish my wall here and send these out to help defend these while these get repaired. Both of those would have been better than what I did here, because this is like splitting what I'm doing. It doesn't even make sense. Alright, we'll just speed it up a little bit. See, he's got a pretty good setup. But these mines are really paying off for me. Just the fact that I have, like... First off, my barracks is still watching things come out. But just having the mines... Like, the thing is, if there's any doubt in my mind, if I think he might be bringing up a siege tank, I have to fucking get out of here. I can't, I can't sit like this. <laughs> like, you'll... I'll be dead if he gets any siege tanks up here. Um, so it's kind of like this this difficult game. This is part of the reason why Vulture Tank is so good, right? He has complete map control. It's very tricky to deal with these areas. And if you get hit by even one mine, sometimes the Vultures can kill the rest of your army and you lose the game as well, because Vultures are so cheap, They're, they make so quickly, all that. So these mines are actually like super duper hero mines. Just the fact that I am completely certain that there are no siege tanks on the map allows me to sit and get the right amount of units and kind of set myself up completely for my move out. He shouldn't have gotten five add-ons. He doesn't really know what he's doing. I guess it's because he banked so much gas. He went up to five fact, but got double gas uh, and kept mining from both the gases. So that's that seems to be why he's doing it. Now, this Vulture, I was thinking a few times about sending it down. I was pretty darn sure he was making a command center. For some reason, I thought in my head that I should keep this keep this just patrolling up here and then utilize it a little bit later. Um, I think it's because the reason my reasoning was, even though I knew he would be making a command center, and I could slow it down slightly, is that I'll lose vision completely here, because he has complete map control. He can easily send a couple Vultures over and kill it and still maintain that map control. So I was trying to wait and use this once I'm out on the map a little bit more. Uh, so that I know he doesn't have the top right, but I know he'll have this. Because he went 14 command center, he has, the, he has map control a bit. But I, the thing is, when I'm playing against that with a factory expand, right, and they go into the vultures, I allow the map control for a little bit, but then what I want to do basically is there will be a moment if you're just making tanks against uh, someone who went 5 factory vulture, There'll be like this little area of time where you should be able to move out carefully and have more tanks in them and take a strong position. But in my opinion, I'm pretty sure that that's, that's how this functions nowadays. TBT has changed a lot since my day, but... Alright, so see, he's just starting his tank production here. He is going to get a decent amount, but now I'm moving out. See. Okay, so this is this is a pretty good position. This is over halfway in the map. That's like a really important thing on a map like Fighting Spirit. Um, because what this means is I control this base, kind of. Not that I can necessarily take it, but I'm far enough over that he, this is like a hard base for him to take. And I block off this area, so I have more map mobility, right? Like, I can actually go up through here to go to other areas. And... Like, this whole part of the map here, look at my mini-map, right, is, that's pretty, pretty much my area. He can't really do anything over there. And notice this vulture is still checking for these two bases. So, in my mind right now, I've already scanned, I've seen that he has five factories uh, with add-ons. So, it's clear he's not going Wraith or anything. And I figure that he's taking this base. So, the plan here for me is basically to set up... Uh, siege tank lines, right? Like, try to make it areas where he can't really attack in at all. Control this. And if I can, like... If you can get a Terran to just be on three bases... If you get him on two bases, they're dead. Uh, but if you can get him even just on three, and then I can take, like, another main 
and I can take this one, which obviously I'm going to take, then that's like a very powerful position for me. Like on three bases, you can make a lot, but you become very all in with all your moves. Like, are you going to go wraiths? Ugh, that's hard. Probably the best thing you can do is go mass dropship and try to get really efficient drops. Like, uh, you know, get four or five dropships dropping here or something. And you'll see that I actually had turrets here very shortly. Like one here and one here. Uh, to kind of watch for things like that. But yeah, this is this is a really good setup. He can't really break this for a long time. Like when you get this many siege tanks, it's very, very dirty to break. I'm surprised he sat this many vultures right here. I guess he was expecting me to take a base. But, and I probably should have already made my command center. I was a little bit slow on that. But I think it's also okay to, for me to still be playing on two bases because I'm, like, aggressively trying to utilize my map control that I'm gaining here, right? And if I can do something like cut off this area, even if it's just this area, because for him to expand up here... He can't, like, expand up here early on by going this path. That's not a good path. If he wants to expand up here, he has to go this path. Like, this is this is too much shit he's doing, and too many things can go wrong if he's trying to, like, rally up siege tanks that way and stuff. He doesn't have time for that. So even just controlling this area is very, very strong for me. And then later on, I can fight over this area. Because, like, once you control, like, that area right there, these bases are done. So yeah, I really like those vines. This I was surprised that he didn't have, like, anything here. Where are all his units? Most of them are there. Mm -hmm. Queued up three rates. Ugh, gross play. It's not very good. Anyway, even though he wasn't very good, I think strategically it was a pretty good game for me. 